NDC in Europe, an American divided over fraudulent elections by Professor Yakubo, as he has been declared wanted. Apparently angry about the electoral front fraud that marked the 2023 general elections, members of a group under the aegis of Nigerian diaspora committees in Europe and America have resolved to hold a review meeting to assess the conduct of the elections under the leadership under leadership of Chairman of Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, and take necessary action. According to the group, it, it would amount to acts of cowardice if Nigerians in diaspora not to speak and discuss the worrisome problems surrounding the conduct of the 2023 election. In a press statement signed by the National Coordinator of Nigerian Diaspora in Europe and America, Mr. Collins Abra Abraham Douglas, the planned reviewed conference scheduled told in Washington, United States on Tuesday, December 2023 is part of actions intended to push for sanctions and embark on nationwide campaign against Professor Iakubo, who is believed rigged the elections in favor of ruling party or progressive Congress, APC. The group also said discussions are expected among members on need for international communities to impose sanctions on President Ahmed Bola Tinubu and Professor Yakubo taking Nigerians who they claimed took Nigerians for granted. Though the statement revealed that the group appealed, appeared divided over whether the elections are married with fraud or not, and some members hold the view that the elections are relatively fair, and the, the leadership said there are indications that the review meeting will afford members to critically discuss the controversial issues and arrive at a resolution. Why calling on Nigerians to join them to read, uh, read the INEC of alleged bad heads and corrupt leaders? It said democracy and corrupt leaders is a barred government of the people. Okay, please pardon me. Why calling on Nigerians to join them to read INEC of alleged bad heads and corrupt leaders it said democracy is about government of the people and all stakeholders must be ready to join the fight to enshrine a strong democratic idea during and after any electoral in the country according to the statement some prominent nigerians were invited to attend the crucial meeting okay so what is going to happen after this I make uh, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu conduct, conducted a fraudulent 2023 presidential election as confirmed by International Observance Report. So he's there to see. Mohamed Yakubu is a criminal. Okay, these are reactions from Nigerians. So someone said, mm, someone said, yeah, Igbos are different types of. Uh, organization so Igbos gradually are pained and disillusioned of one of them losing an election they they are whalers and they are definitely continue to will to after 3031 I think we just have to stop this even the chairman is not an Igbo person here okay the chairman of the community committee here is not an Igbo person we just have to you know push this tribalism religion aside so that Nigeria will see the light of the day. If we continue like this, this is how we are going to suffer. Nigerians are suffering already. Yes, Nigerians are suffering already because we don't vote for people who will stand for Nigerians. People vote because of what they want to get and people vote because of uh, uh, where the person is coming from. The person's religion and this is not really helping us as a country it's not really helping us at all we just have to think twice and actually you know 
see things the way it is. If I may ask, can we say that that election was you know, free and fair election? That election, that election won't be like a child's play. Can we say that election was free and fair election? At least, even international reporters, they said that election had issues. You understand? That election has issues. The world know. Everybody saw what happened. We have never seen this kind of election in the history of this country. But we saw it during Professor Mahmoud Yekubo's time. And it happened. And some persons are still seeing the truth. You don't want to say, oh, this is really what happened. Nigerians, if we continue like this, if we continue like this, Nigeria will not see the light of the day. It is good when you do something bad, when you do something not right, there must be sanctions so that people, it, it, will, it will serve as a deterrent to other persons. People who want to do that, we know that ha, there is punishment too, if I do something like this. So they have to stay away from that. You know, they see what they happen for the northern part of this country now. Talking about banditry and all that. People are still going into banditry business because they feel that those people, when they die, they know they take any serious action against them. Last, last, they feel come out now, say they don't repent. They go carry their gun, keep for grand, and they will give them good life. So you see, there must be a, a, a punishment after every action. Even God in heaven, now see, keep them. If you do good thing, you go get the you go, you go get the reward. If you still do bad thing, you go still get the reward. Even last last say you repent, but you go still get the reward of that thing where you do. It's in the Bible. Go and check it. If you see the read Quran, go and check it. Everything, anything you do, there must be um uh what is it called? Reward for it is either bad or good. Now so it be. I beg my people, make a drop up for you. Can you share your thoughts below the comment section? Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you.